Hello and welcome to Colby Maggle Hayes' house. That is my squid hat right there. Today I just have a bunch of chores I gotta do pretty much. Going to now that we're living a clean lifestyle here. Like semi, it's pretty clean, I suppose. A little disorganized over here. House is getting cleaner since Mackenzie cleaned it all on her days off since she quit school. But now I gotta take all this, put it in the back of my truck. I have to go mail out all my uniform stuff. Basically what I did was just shoved all my uniform crap into, I put my boots in the bag or my shoes into some bags so they don't scuff up my shirt and pants. And also did the same with my combo cover and my medals in there. So I'm gonna send these off, I'm gonna send them off to Massachusetts so that I can have my aunt dry clean them um, and press them before my cousin's big wedding on the Labor Day weekend. Uh, May 27th, so I'm gonna go crash that. Hey. Also today I need to uh, refill this water jug. That made a mess. Bitches right there. What do you say, man? Oh, Max. Maximilian, do you love me? Will you marry me? Else, giving their dogs a voice. I feel like you have to give your dogs a voice, or else you don't think your dogs have feelings or something. I have to give my dogs a voice. It's the only way you give them personality, or else you just think they're just objects that walk around. What are you doing? shipped out my uh, package I needed to send out to through USPS and uh, one thing that uh, I noticed while I was here is I'm I uh, used to have a Dodge Charger I don't know uh, some of you might already know some of my friends that is a sharp looking car and I mean that's the rally version which is a v6 sport edition basically and uh, I had a v8 I had an RT and it was pretty sick I wish I hadn't gotten rid of it because now I would have an extra year paid off on it and potentially be able to get my payment payment down, but this truck is way better. It's just nice to have a fun V8 to drive. It'd be nice if I could actually start doing car reviews and then driving cars for free. Never know. Another thing that bothered me when I had the car was people were always telling me that my car was super underpowered. It was a 370 horsepower V8. Uh, with torque, I think somewhere around 300 and actually it was over 370. It was like 410 pound feet of torque, which is unheard of, I feel, um, from a muscle car. You get more torque than you did horsepower. So, really awesome car. Wish I hadn't gotten rid of it just because, like I said, it would be more paid off and it was a really nice car. I can't believe I listened to everybody saying it was underpowered when it definitely was not. And so I just uh, went into GNC and I never knew that Lenny and Larry's bro muscle brownies compared to their cookies are way more macro friendly at least I think for a more delicious flavor I, which I actually I don't even know if they're delicious but I got the double chocolate, got the chocolate peanut butter and the what is this? Cookies and cream flavor. <laughs> Shut up, foreigner. So I'm gonna give these, or give the chocolate peanut butter a taste test real quick. One of these small brownies apparently has 20 grams of protein and 10 grams of fat. Uh, I think there's quite a bit of carbs. No, 25 grams of carbs. Jesus. Definitely doesn't look like the package, but still decent presentation, I guess.
It's uh, it, it tastes like a high protein bar, but it's definitely better than a lot of other protein bars. And maybe if I had microwaved this, it would have been perfect. I might try that later on tonight because their cookies, Lenny and Larry's cookies, are so good when you microwave them. At least the Snickerdoodle, double chocolate and a chocolate chip, are really good when you microwave them. They're delicious. Code red, guys. Don't microwave your muscle brownies. They have whey protein in it. I should have read the the ingredients beforehand, but it's like eating a brick. Yeah, it's just like if you were to microwave uh, something with whey protein, and it, it usually gets really tough. And that's exactly what happens. So if you eat it cold. I actually, on the way home, while I was finishing up my chocolate peanut butter one, it was really good. So, eat it cold, you'll get used to the taste. Initially, it's different, but it tastes really good, especially for the back rows. So now that I'm home, I'm going to change into something a little more comfortable. Yes. <laughs> Much better! I'd be like... All right, so first meal of the day, other than the brownie that I ate, is this sandwich. It has Dave's Killer Bread on it, or this bagel is Dave's Killer Bread Bagel. Uh, then I put four egg whites together with some tomatoes and spinach, and I cook it up. And I put the excess eggs on the side so I can eat them. But all of this together is a lot of macros, so when you make that however you like, it could be very high protein and scrumptious. With some fat-free cream cheese also right in there. Oh my god. She just shoved her head so deep into my butt. <laughs> This is the kind of day we're gonna have. Give me the remote. <laughs> so now we're on our way to the gym. Small update from Kenzie. Oh, green light. <gasps> Today's leg day, but it is going to be an intense leg day. We're gonna hit 500, 400 to 500 reps, and then do some CrossFit. <laughs> She's annoyed with me. No camera today? Huh? No camera today? No, I'm taking a break. Mm, I feel you. No, if you're trying to get your uh, reps up in the gym, you can start off with this kind of workout. What I do is I'm starting off with a lightweight that I can do five reps with. Then I'm gonna drop it down about 25 to 35 pounds maybe. Uh, for the next set, do 10 reps, and then the next one do 15 reps, then I'm gonna do that three times. It'll add up to 90 reps, get you up to 100 reps, and you get a good sweat going and some hypertrophy into your muscles. So let's get it. 